Hey everyone, uh, Nintendo Robo Jansen from Nintendo Prime. Uh, no special giveaway at this time. I'm still, I, I just don't feel it's really pertinent uh, to give away a game um, right now. Yes, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition giveaway is over, um, but that's, <sighs> we have to talk about a story that has really been going around the country, but now we have a reason as a primarily Nintendo focused uh, YouTube channel to talk about it. Um, for those who aren't aware, a man named George Floyd was, I, I, I don't even know how to, how to say it. Like police officers ended his life. Um, and they ended it over what appears to be a counterfeit $20 bill. He was unarmed. Um, he was already detained and handcuffed at the time and officers still, uh, put pressure on his neck and his ankles. Uh, even though it didn't look like in any of the video that he was actually resisting arrest. Um, and it's weird uh, hearing stories like this because you'll end up seeing uh, other videos out there with uh, people of a different skin color, say my skin color, uh, waving machetes at police that the police don't even overreact to and are able to peacefully detain. Um, so clearly, uh, this is about a racial divide in the country, uh, specifically among those that are enforcing the law. Now, uh, the reason that we're talking about this is because Nintendo New York uh, has been looted. Now, what well, I really looted, I guess, uh, had the windows smashed. And there's been protests going on all over the country. And it, it's, it's a difficult thing because on one hand, I am someone that understands numbers. I understand statistics. And the statistics show why there is a racial bias among police officers. Now, personally, I don't care what the numbers say. People are people, and they all should be treated equally. We all live under the same laws and the same rules. It doesn't matter if you're Hispanic, black, white, Irish. It doesn't matter what you are. It, it, it just doesn't. Black, purple, it, it, it's whatever. If you are a police officer, the law should apply equally no matter what the race is. But the reason that police officers are more aggressive specifically towards black males is because of the numbers. The numbers that say black on white crime is the highest uh, crime rate among races in the country. Like it's it's massively bigger than any other um, any other you know, race on race crime and like white on black crime is, is way lower again though. Yeah. You know, how are things being reported? Whatever. But that's just the case uh, in terms of the numbers that exist out there. Numbers also show that something like 50% of all crimes in the United States are committed by black men. So, and black men only make up a small portion of the actual um, population. So like that's a huge uh, amount of black men that are responsible for a large number of crimes in the US. And this is why, especially in cities, because it seems to be more prevalent in cities, inner cities specifically, um, that there is a bias. This is why the bias exists. This is why um, police officers tend to be more aggressive towards a black male, uh, just because there tend to be more violent crimes of black males and all that and, and whatever. But the point I'm, I'm trying to make is, the numbers say one thing, and that's why the divide exists with police officers. But we're all people. And if you are unarmed, like no weapons on you whatsoever, there is zero excuse for you to lose your life in an arrest. I don't care if you robbed a store. I don't care if you were using counterfeit money in this case. I don't care if you punch someone in the face. If you do not have a weapon on you, if you, are, you don't have a knife, you don't have a gun, you don't have some lethal object on you to kill someone with, there is no reason that you should ever be in threat with officers to lose your life. I don't care what your skin color is but that has been a problem in this country for quite some time um let's get to the nintendo new york story and we'll talk about what people have been doing in response to this in terms of the uh riots because there's been legit riots going on in terms of the protests etc and it's happening all over the country so here you see the story on nintendolife.com and it says nintendo new york stores smashed during riots in manhattan fifth day of unrest in new york city reaches rockefeller center um, it's a grim scene as police stand guard outside of shattered windows of Nintendo New York, surrounded by the backdrop of protests and unrest, a stark contrast to the colorful contents of the flagship store inside. On Monday evening, rioters have broken the windows of the Nintendo store, along with other shops in the area, where police presence has been occupying the glass-strewn sidewalks. Fortunately, Nintendo New York has yet to be looted or further vandalized. Additional details regarding the incident are currently unavailable at this time. Uh, this is someone who put up that, that picture. Uh, another picture of police officers in front of Nintendo New York. 
Um, extreme unrest has been a um, occurring across the streets of America for nearly a week now, perpetuated by the murder of black Louisville resident and EMT Breonna Taylor in her own home and unarmed black Minneapolis resident George Floyd on a public street in broad daylight. So again, there was another death involved in this as well. That's just, it, it, it's getting a little extreme here. Since then, fuel has unfortunately only been added to the fire. With the most recent incident involving the murder of black Louisville business owner and peaceful protester David McCatty who had been known to feed local police at his barbecue restaurant for free. I mean, this is how bad it is, guys. Like, this is someone who is a friend of the police officers. Uh, the majority of protesters have made a significant effort to remain peaceful and observe local laws, even working to fight against the rioting and looting happening in the cities across the country. There's actually a video out there, because Target was one of, like, the first stores hit with looting, and then, like, other stores that were shut down, um, you know, there was peaceful protesters trying to push back those that, that are trying to loot and all that, because, um, obviously, um, committing a crime does not in that of itself, uh, do you any justice to try to get something changed. Um, I'm of belief that, um, while unfortunately, uh, for Martin Luther King, he ended up getting killed anyways, um, that the way that he led the march for, for black rights, um, had a lot greater impact and a lot bigger uh, force for change and it was 100 percent peaceful uh and i think uh that that is how it should be going about if you're out there um protesting or whatever do it peacefully um don't antagonize the officers don't throw rocks at them start cars on fire loot buildings none of that's going to make the laws change in your favor it's actually going to make things more difficult to change and make more of a police state happen as uh, the country and the states feel like they don't have a choice so uh yeah i don't know what else to say unless you're just trying to start a revolution i guess and take down the government um but that doesn't seem to be what people are protesting they're not trying to take down the government they're trying to uh, get rid of corrupt police officers and have stricter uh, policies when this happens that to those officers like going to jail not just losing their job because the officers i think four officers involved in the george floyd case are have been let go and no longer are police officers but they're not in jail um they murdered someone and if the only punishment is losing your job, that's that's not okay. So um, let's let's get into more of this. Uh, many others have unfortunately taken advantage of the unrest, uh, spending recent days looting and vandalizing businesses in these areas, which now includes Nintendo New York. Although Nintendo has yet to make a public statement regarding these situations, individuals at the company, as well as others in the industry, have made statements online in recent days. And here's Bill Trennan. You guys should all know Bill Trennan from Nintendo. Uh, you, you know does a lot of stuff he used to just be a nintendo treehouse translator but he does a lot more now uh these killings form a national thread of death and despair woven into a tapestry as old and as wide as our fever-stricken union the fever is rising our nation is sick sick with fear sick with false and fatal innocence now he's just quoting um somebody else but uh yeah i mean clearly he's having he has just sickened by this uh former nintendo of america president reggie F films aim has commented on the situation stating that he supports freedom of the press and the right to protest but does not condone the destruction that has come out of the riots and i don't think anyone in the right mind condones it um our thoughts are with those affected during this difficult time and same is true for me my thoughts are with everyone affected uh because this is a problem and this has been a problem in the united states pretty much since the dawn of the country back when slavery was okay um the black community has been fighting for fair and equal treatment uh, in this country for a long time and while legally they have all of the same rights as i do it doesn't mean that the law is being applied to them in the same way it doesn't mean the police force is forcing it in the same way now of course in any situation like this it's always important to point out that not every single police officer has this racial bias okay there's obviously good police officers out there and the unfortunate thing uh in a situation like this is it paints the entire police force across the country as being these bigot racial people uh and that's not necessarily the case and it's obviously more than just a few bad apples too because they always say you know a few a few bad apples can ruin it for the whole it's probably a lot more than a few bad apples especially in the inner cities um i guarantee you that because of the statistics because of the crimes they see because of certain neighborhoods that happen to be black that police officers won't even go to because the crime rates are so high there's just a natural bias that exists because of what they see uh when they're out there and and the things they deal with and the violent crimes that are committed by black people um that 
end up uh, you know, painting a picture. And when you see this looting, when you see uh, businesses burning, all it's doing, to you, to you people out there that have participated in this or participated at throwing rocks at officers even or whatever you've done, if you've done anything violent, anything other than peacefully protesting, if you have done anything else, all you have done is perpetuate the police officer's bias. That's what happens when you end up looting, when you end up when you end up breaking glass at Nintendo New York, when you end up doing uh, any of these things that are a violent act, that are a criminal act against another person or a business or whatever, you're just perpetuating the already biased opinion of the police officers that black people are a problem. And I don't think you guys are a problem. I don't think you guys should even be called you guys. We're all people. We're all humans. We all should be treated equally. But you don't do yourself any favors if the response to brutality is, you know, let's let's just burn the country to the ground. You're just making yourselves and your race and your ethnicity almost justified in what the police officers are doing. I hate saying that, but that's what it feels like when you are on the other side of the fence um, and you're trying to keep the peace and you just see that there's just more and more unrest. It's like, yeah, maybe we caused that unrest by, you know, the wrongful deaths of some people. But at the same point, look at what you're doing. I mean, there's rioters hurting peaceful protesters as an example. Like there's actually been a lot of protesters getting injured uh, by rioters. Obviously p protesters are getting injured as well by the police because the police are using tear gas or firing rubber bullets um, in some places. I think in Ohio, I think they're using wood bullets because they didn't have enough rubber bullets. Um, and obviously people are getting seriously hurt, losing eyes, all this stuff. Um, you know, and there's, a, there's a lot of protesters as well, uh, you know, to, to point out the positivity in this, not only have some protesters been fighting back against the rioters and being like, you need to stop doing this. Cause clearly, um, uh, there's not enough police or, or national guard or anything to really stop, you know, everyone in this country, but, um, they, the, the protesters themselves are doing things like going out and, and cleaning up. Um, the streets and cleaning up some of the businesses that have been looted uh, and trying to offer help because believe it or not uh, as the article pointed out in Nintendo Life a majority of the people out there are peacefully protesting unfortunately there's this subset that's either taking advantage of the situation or is just part of it and and just so angry that they they feel justified um, that they're going after uh, businesses uh, and, and police officers and, and just doing things that aren't going to get them the laws changed or you know punishments changed or, or whatever as much as they would I saw one suggestion out there uh, that I, I think would actually be a pretty interesting um, you know change in, in, in how police officers are paid uh, that could change because uh, if you didn't know a lot of places police officers are given bonuses or have like uh you know monthly uh quotas to hit and if they hit that they get a nice bonus um which is weird that you would offer bonuses for busting criminals uh that's your job you shouldn't just bust more of them because you might just be making up crimes at that point but um one thing that i saw suggested changing is you know um for for all the reprimands that happen for inappropriate police behavior uh, towards anyone it doesn't have to be a black person but obviously that's the focus here um, would uh, be taken out of their pensions and take it out of other things uh, and all of a sudden you might see police officers start to be a heck of a lot more friendly to everyone instead of just automatically assuming every single in this case every single male black person is a threat um, so I I really hope that uh, something's done about this so that some changes come this isn't the first time and the last time uh, that, that people were dying by police officers and we started protesting and riots across the country, nothing changed. Literally nothing changed. I mean, the officers involved got in trouble, but nothing actually changed. Uh, and I think people are doing it even harder this time around because they're hoping that something's going to change this time. Uh, and I, I hope something does change. I just don't think that when you're looting, uh, that when you're vandalizing, that when you're physically throwing things at officers, uh, that you are actually going to get change to occur. Now, if they, if this had just been a 100% peaceful protest all around, like the Martin Luther King days, um, I think something would happen. Uh, even if we don't have the right president, you know, necessarily in charge to enact some federal policies, I think a lot of state governments would enact policies if everything was just peaceful. If they just marched on the Capitol, which is where they should be marching, by the way, because the capitals in each, uh, in each state. Um, control, you know, all the laws that, that govern that state and control the police force. Everyone should just be marching onto the Capitol and getting in front of it 
you know, in the thousands or millions or whatever, and just protest. You don't have to break anything. You don't have to vandalize anything. Go straight to the source of what controls the police officers and protest. That is what should be happening. But that's not what's happening. So at this point, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys other than this is just a really sad situation. And uh, I, I honestly think nothing's going to get resolved. Um, I hope this doesn't just continue to be going on all year. But again, I don't know. You know, more more people seem to be dying now. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss for words. Um, thankfully, where I, I live, I guess, thankfully, uh, there are some people in my area protesting, but it's all peaceful. Um, so we haven't had to worry about, about looting and riots and all that. But it's, man, 2020 has just been one hell of a year, hasn't it? Especially here in the United States now that we're dealing with this. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, maybe um, I was I was debating on maybe uh, at some point this week um, doing a charity stream, uh, raising some money either for uh, there's a memorial fund for George Floyd, which I'm sure already has plenty of donations at this point. Um, but maybe uh, you know finding I don't even know some sort of charity that like I. I it's hard for me to think of what charities to do it for because um what charities actually gonna get the police officers to be better i mean charities can't control people so i don't know i don't know what to do maybe, maybe we could find a way to uh, maybe some charities that help inner city schools or something get better um so that like you know the people in those um, downtrodden communities have a better chance to rise out of it maybe that's the kind of charities i should be looking for so if you think there's a, a good charity uh, to maybe do a stream for and i'm a small channel so i don't expect to raise much for you know if we raise 100 bucks for it or whatever that, that'd be great to me um but yeah i think we should uh maybe do a charity stream for it and um just let me know in the comments below if you think what, what charities you think are good and i'll try to go through and vet them because you got you got to be careful with charities because some are kind of scams but um i'm gonna do my best to to pick at least one uh, that I think is worth uh, us donating to. Um, and then we'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll try to play some games and come together as a community um, and uh, try to improve parts of the country that uh, need to be improved because I don't think there's any charity we can give to that's going to actually change laws and, and change police behavior. So, all right, folks, um, that's all I got for you. Catch you in the next video.